Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make my beaded tassel bag. And I'm going to make it in three colors today, tan, cream, and black. But you could make it in a solid color and use my applique crochet butterfly from a previous video. I post new videos on Tuesday and Friday in the morning. You may not receive an email, but you can always find it in your subscription box on the top left of your screen. And if you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. I have lots more videos on how to crochet bags and purses. And I'm going to put the link below, and you'll be able to find the videos for all the bags and purses that you're seeing on your screen right now, and lots more. So don't forget to click on there and have a look through those. Today I'm going to use these three colors, tan, cream, and black, and I'm working with two strands of each color and a 9mm crochet hook. And I'm going to start with my tan color, start with a slip knot, and I'm going to chain 24. You can chain any amount you would like, but for this bag, which is approximately 12 inches wide, I chain 24. So to chain you simply pick up the yarn with the hook and pull it through. And you're going to do that 24 times. Okay, I have chained 24. Double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. One, two, three, four. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert in the stitch, pick up the yarn with the hook and pull it through. Now pick up the yarn and pull it through two of the loops and pick up the yarn and pull it through two loops. I'm going to go ahead and double crochet in each stitch all the way across the chain. Okay, I double crocheted in each stitch across the row. This turning chain counts as one stitch, so I have 22 stitches across here. And now I'm going to turn, I'm going to work down this side of the chain, and then I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain too. So to turn, I'm going to make one more double crochet in that last stitch. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to come back down this row and I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way down the row. Like that. I'll double crochet all the way down the row. Okay, I double crochet all the way down the row. And there's my first chain two, so I'm going to make one more double crochet in the base of that chain two. And then I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And there's what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch into this first stitch just so I don't have a hole when I'm making my join. And I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to place a marker in that stitch. And I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Double crochet all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around making one double crochet in each stitch. And I'm going to come back over to here. And I'm going to find the top of that stitch and slip stitch to join. Now that for the next row I would do the same thing. Turn my work, slip stitch into this first stitch. And the reason I do that is that if I were not to work directly into that stitch, I might have a little hole here. So I don't want to have that. So there I have two rows worked and the next row would work the same. And on my bag I worked four rows. So one, two, three, four rows in tan, and then I changed to my cream color. Okay, to change to the cream color, I'm going to pull my yarn in through that last stitch worked, and I'm going to take one stitch with both the working yarn and the yarn end, and I'm going to turn my work because it's easier to work into the stitch from the opposite direction. So that was equivalent to my chain one, so I'm going to chain two more, that's equivalent to three, Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. 
I'm going to repeat that across the row. Chain three, skip, single crochet. I'll work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. And there's my last chain three. And there's my first chain three. And I want to end in the center of a loop. So I'm just going to chain one. And I'm going to double crochet in the base of that first chain three. So you can see that I ended in the center of a loop. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. And I'm going to single crochet in the next loop. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next loop. I'm going to continue across the row. Chain three. Single crochet in the next loop. So chain three loops all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. And on this row, I don't need to end in the middle of a loop. So there's my last loop and there's my first loop. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to come over here and slip stitch into the base of that first chain three loop. Now for the next row, I'm going to turn and I'm going to slip stitch into the first loop, chain two, one, two, and you can place your marker in there. Now I'm going to make one more double crochet in that same loop. And now working all the way across the row, I'm going to make two double crochet in each loop. So one, two. Go to the next loop, one, and two. So you're going to do that all the way around. Make two double crochet in each loop. Okay, I worked all the way across the row, making two double crochet in each loop. And now I can remove that stitch marker and slip stitch to join in this stitch. Now for the remainder of the bag, it's just going to be a repetition of these three rows. So one row of loops, another row of loops, a row of two double crochet in each loop. And then this is what it will look like. And I did two rows of loops and a row of double crochet, two rows of loops and a row of double crochet, two rows of loops and a row of double crochet, and then I did two rows of double crochet in black. Now when you're done you could sew this kind of a purse handle on, but I'm going to crochet a strap. For the strap you could work it separately and then attach it on both sides. Or you can work directly on the side of the bag. And there's my fold, so I'm going to center five stitches. So I'll go two stitches on this side, pull the yarn through, lock it in, and that will take the place of the first single crochet. So I'll single crochet in four more stitches. One, two, three, and four. So that's five stitches, one, two, three, four, and the turning chain, five. So chain one and turn. So I'll be working into four stitches. So a single crochet, one, two, three. And you'll have to look for that last stitch because that was the chain and it doesn't show up as well. So that's how you'll work your stitches. Now for each row, you'll do the same thing, chain one and turn. And that takes the place of your first stitch, so work into four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Just keep working that strap until it's as long as desired. Okay, and I have gone ahead and I've worked my strap as long as I would like it to be. And I did mine so that it is approximately 18 inches long because it is going to stretch. Now when you're done, you can either slip stitch to join this before you stop with your crochet hook, or you can sew it on with a yarn needle and the same yarn. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So just sew right across. And there's the finished strap. 
And if you'd like to line your bag, you can find out how to do that in this video. And you'll find the link below. I made my tassels, and I'm going to place a link below for my video on how to make a tassel. And then on the yarn ends, I added some beads. So I'll just go directly on here, and I will tie this on like that. And I've gone ahead and I've made this flower, and this is a really easy flower to make. You can find out how to make this flower in my boot cuffs video, and I'm going to put the link below this video. And I'm going to attach that flower right there to cover up the tops of where my tassels begin. So there you go. There's another easy purse that you can make. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.